Next one's from Abel Quintana. Is this the guy that, that Jared Aviat's been mad at? Yeah, they're feuding. Abel uh, is a self-proclaimed. Well, why is he in the mailbag here? It didn't didn't he what's didn't, his name say that he would pay to have him banned? He's got to pay. There's he's been no. Pay. There's been no. So that's, we're throwing that out there, Jared. Jared Aviat, you, you you ran your mouth and you claimed that you would pay quad. What was it? Quadruple or something like that? Or no, the four hundred dollars. Four hundred was four hundred dollars, right? Yeah. You said you would pay four hundred dollars for Abel Cantana to be be you know canceled. Have mm-hmm. we received any payment of that? No. Yes or no? There's been no quid. There's been no pro quo. So, you know. Okay, Abel Cantana, subject Conan WWE Hall of Fame. Hey, gang, the king of the MF and mailbag, Abel here. Conan, there are wrestlers that never wrestled in WWE but still made it to the WWE Hall of Fame, Abdul the Butcher. Actually, Abdul the Butcher did wrestle in the WWE, so you're inaccurate here, Abel, right off the bat. Yeah. Um, even though you had a short, forgettable stint in the WWE, you without a doubt have had a Hall of Fame career in and out of the ring. Top five all. Actually, you know what? Abdullah may not have wrestled in WWE. I don't. If, if he I'm, did in I'm the seventies and sh- I'm not, I'm not. He wrestled at the Garden at some point. Yeah, yeah you, you know? gotta think he did. Right, just for a match. I mean, like, there's hun- tons of people worked on one match in the Garden from yeah, you know, Dusty. Uh, you know. No, he worked multiple matches at the Garden. Well, yeah. What do you mean? Joe, you know, I'm saying on. back in the seventies when guys from other territories. In, actually, right, okay. right, right. I'm not talking about later. Yeah. <sighs> Even though you had a short, forgettable stint at WWE, you without a doubt have had a Hell Hall of Fame career in and out of the ring. Top five all-time lucha goats. But you've also been really outspoken about WWE's racism and lack of equality towards Hispanic wrestlers. So if the WWE asked you to join the Hall of Fame, would you consider it? And who would induct you? The juicy one? Disco. Would you attend Conan's introduction? I'll just answer that right now. No. Oh, one more thing. That's awful. The word around Patreon is that Jared Avia will pay four hundred dollars to K one hundred so that I don't ever do that intro again. Joe, let us know when Jared gets four hundred from his mommy, and I won't do the intro. <laughs> By the way, my intro was the best intro of all time. No, it wasn't. Okay, <laughs> okay well, let me say this though. I think the understanding was that not to hear, but but four hundred dollars to cancel you from everything. Though I thought was the deal. So you know, you so clarify accurate. your intentions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, er, 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 what's Let me ask you a question, Conan. You've been outspoken because he says you've been really outspoken about WWE's racism and lack of equality towards Hispanic wrestlers. But let me ask you this: Where would you put Hoovy on the card? What do you mean? Like you know, I mean, like, <laughs> like they gave Hoovy a schmuck gimmick, the Mexicals, you know, the driving lawnmower right. or something. But what would you have done with him? It's you know, Hoovy's kind of a schmuck. You know, well, well, they you gave him the, bro, he, I would have him be outlandish like he is. You know, yeah. hey, baby, I'm the juicy, and wear all his outlandish <laughs> and just act like the. <laughs> he's a character by himself. You don't have to book anything for him. He's the juice. <laughs> they might have I mean, split. They, Go ahead. They Go don't ahead. come, bro. They don't come any better when you misspell your name on your own tights. Okay, so he once came up to me. This is great. He once came up to me. He goes, what do you think of these tights? And he had one from England. It had like the Union Jack on it. It was really nice. And then he had another one. And somehow, some way, his name was misspelled, mm. Juicy. And I go, bro, you got to wear that. And so he wore it. It was in, it was in TNA when we were in uh, Nashville. And I showed it to Jeff. And Jeff popped. Yeah. And somebody ratted me out in the dressing room. And he was super mad. But he came out on TV with trunks with his name misspelled <laughs> bro it doesn't get better than that you know what i'm saying i don't you know so they, juice, juice juice books you know he books himself yeah yeah they might have done something else with him because they obviously you could see he was the center of the, of the mexicals or whatever and he they made him cruiserweight champion but from what i always heard was he got himself fired because they wanted him to to do their cruiserweight style not how Hoobie's going to do it, not how WCW did it, but they, you know, they, they, they're guys to slow down back then and all that and do less high spots. And they would say, we don't want you to do the 450. Hoobie would do the 450. We don't want you diving out of the ring more than once. He would, you know, he just didn't listen from what I always read. So He always went into business for his own self, and that's what got him heat. Yeah. And no, if uh, WWE did ask me to do the Hall of Fame, I would not go. 